Hello, thank you. Thank you for coming to the Sashiko live streaming. This is Atsushi. It's Thursday night. Sorry, I'm a little bit late, one minute late. Uh, let me check the microphone first. As my mic was. Okay, that's good. Microphone is good. Whew. Okay. All right, so this is the live streaming where I talk about Sashiko while doing the Sashiko stitching. Uh, this is not a lecture, this is not a tutorial, so um, I will not answer any questions. I will not answer the questions about technical uh, request, like, you know, show me how to use that or teach me how to use those things. I'm not going to answer those questions, but I am very happy to uh, talk about some cultural issues, including some questions as well. So if you have any questions, please leave the comments. Um, I will try to pick it up. Um, that being said, uh, there's not that much things going on over the camera. So if you can bring some of your stuff to stitch together, that'd be really good uh, moment for us to stitch together. I brought, I, did, I, did I bring the topic today? Just a second. What is going on? Just a second, okay. Something is not good. Mm, I will just be back. Hmm? My YouTube channel is frozen. Just a second. So I'll be right back. I will be right back. I think it's on, just it's not really. My camera is not working well. There we go. No, it's not working. Come on. If you're watching this, it would be great if you could leave the comment because I cannot see what's going on right now. Come on. Okay, let's see. Probably this is okay if I do this. I will just test. All right, the comment is working. All right, that's good. <laughs> At least the comment is working, that's okay. All right, so I will start stitching. Let's go back to the camera. It's on. For some reason, I cannot edit, I cannot control anything on my uh, YouTube platform. So there might be There might be unexpected um, ads or some other blocking, so. <clears throat> so let's see, let's, let's see, I, I will start. All right, so this is live now. This is live now, I think. Um, I hope the comment is working. I think the camera is working. Everything is working, just the, my, uh, editor is not working at all so I will not be able to change anything right now on the YouTube but I think it's all right to do that okay oh, sorry bit of few few announcement um, I will have the workshop in v Vermont next month and also Minneapolis in June um, both of the workshops are sold out at this moment. Uh, at the same time, they, they might be opening for the waiting list. 
So if you would like to check the in-person workshop in April and in June, please visit my website and then check the in-person workshop schedule. You may be able to find the waiting list. I confirm that there will be waiting lists, so you may be able to join that as well. And also, I will be offering the Japan Sashiko Tour 2024. Uh, right now, it's not the it's the waiting list time, period. I'm I'm not really offering or showing all the information to everybody right now, but I will soon uh, announce the details to general public. If you'd like to receive the information before that, please check this the waiting list on this um, live streaming description and then leave fill out the Google form. Uh, I will send you the invitation before I make the official announcement. Okay, anything else? <laughs> uh, today's topic, you may see that, but I will talk about the Sashiko jacket we made, not only me, but we made as the collective group, uh, and which is exhibited, which is in the exhibition in Williams, Molly's Gallery. And the theme is Minge, and I would like to talk about Minge a little bit. It is quite difficult to difficult topic to about. The minge is quite difficult, quite challenging to talk to talk about. But the interpretation, the translation about minge is quite good. I'm very impressed. I'm very happy how they translate, how they explain what minge is. So I would like to talk about it whilst doing such co stitching. All right, my hands are moving. I think my voice is on. Everything else is kind of frozen right now on my screen, but it's okay as long as I can see the comments. As long as I don't miss the comment. It's really time for me to update the computer. It was working okay like 30 minutes ago. I was doing the Zoom. But now, like... <laughs> Everything is kind of frozen. I usually see how many people watching right now together, like simultaneously. It does not change. The number doesn't change. So it's quite strange and I cannot edit anywhere. So. No. Well, I guess that doesn't matter. Mm, let me stop. let me find where I finished last time. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for coming back. It is very big pleasure that the workshop in Minneapolis was filled very, like, very quickly. And it is my first time to offer the in-person workshop in Middle West. And that has been a week or so since um, the workshop registration page was open. And it is very, very, very... Uh, good news. Thank. I really appreciate those who sign up. I am going to have a Zoom talk with the Textile Center in Minneapolis about my workshop, about what I do, what I teach, what I share, what the student participants can expect in the workshop. And the whole purpose, not whole purpose, but the main goal of the Zoom talk that I plan to have in May, like a month before the workshop, is to encourage people to join the workshop. So, as the workshop is fully enrolled right now, the Zoom talk is not really necessary for the purpose of just enrollment. At the same time, I would like to share what I would do, what, what the people can expect to learn in the, the workshops. So if you see that, I don't think it is limited to the um, 
in their community. So <clears throat> if I have more information about that Zoom talk, I will share that here or on my website. And if you are new to this live streaming or my my sashiko, uh, that can explain what you can expect to learn in those three days or five days or just a day. Um, the difference between three days workshop, five days workshop, and the one day workshop, and the two titles, Quan Essence and Application Practice, those did, did that. I explain what is the difference between those like days, length, durations, and also the title. And it is on the upcyclestitches.com, and that's probably the latest blog article I wrote. So if you could check that, that'd be great. You can understand what is the difference and why it is so important to start learning Sashiko with Koan Essence. Come on. Yep, that being said, everything is the same i am stitching i am preparing i am stitching and i'm preparing not that much things going on this is easter weekend right this is going to be the easter weekend i hope that you have you will have a good weekend we don't have any plan we may go out a little bit for the, like grocery shopping with little bit in we might go to the like asian grocery store which locate like 60 miles from here or 60 minutes driving from here so that might be the biggest trip we will do for this uh, weekend uh, besides that probably just stitching talking cooking playing <laughs> we don't really have that big plan for this week but it is good that we have time to stitch that that's one thing i kind of measure myself how well i'm doing if i don't if i cannot have enough time to stitch that's kind of yellow that's kind of red sign for that matter it's yellow to red sign as long as i can um, secure those time for me to stitch including this kind of live streaming is one of the those as long as i can secure those time i think i'm doing okay even if it doesn't look okay <laughs> so the minge in the exhibition Minge translated in the exhibition in Williams Morris Gallery. Um, Minge is often translated into the word such as unknown craftsman uh, or beauty in the usage, um, the, the beauty defined in using it. Or more generally, probably they would say that beauty in ordinary. Uh, ordinary is my favorite word. Um, I have been using last eight years, nine years when I explain Minge as well as Sashiko. But this time, um, the creator translated Minge as the art without heroes. And that translation is so good that it's, it is involving a very sensitive Japanese fact as well as it is easier for non-Japanese to understand what it is like an unknown craftsman or beauty in usage are good translation yet they do not really communicate well what it means in the language which is not Japanese I mean it can make sense unknown craftsman or beauty in usage but it's not as deep as it i it should be it wanted to be but art without heroes is very 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 like it's really critical it, i i'm really impressed by that so 
we have to define what art is to begin with. At the same time, art is usually done by someone with names, and we kind of admire them as heroes. Um, but the principle of Minge is that it was done by ordinary people without the name to be heroes. And that is why I keep saying that Sashiko is not art. That's one of the reasons I keep saying Sashiko is not the art. Sashiko can be the art, but when we focus on the art perspective in Sashiko, we will lose the sense of, we will lose the sense of Sashiko eventually. Like if and when probably it's gonna happen soon, but when we start looking for the authority in Sashiko, then that's one end of Sashiko that I have been practicing. So I keep asking to not to admire me as the master or teacher per se. I try not to be as teacher as possible because if there is any power balance or authority is probably the word for that. If there's any authority along to the practice of Sashiko, then it will not become Sashiko at that point. So that's why I sometimes make a really critical comment about those who publish a book saying that it's art. Um, unfortunately, they don't understand any of those um, subtle nuance about it. They probably I hope just they don't know that. Not knowing itself is kind of sad, but I hope that it's just they don't know it well enough to go into that deep. Um, because if they know it and then intentionally changing that um, little nuance, then it's it's a bigger issue. It's it's really bad issue. So I hope that it's just the lack of information and resources. Um, but that's kind of a beginning the first step to understand what sashiko is it is done in the sense of beauty or art but we did not have any specific heroes so art it, art we can call it art but that's the art without heroes because there's no heroes we cannot find so many documents to define what sashiko is so that's kind of like a we can go back to those stories little by little by understanding what those messages are. So if you live in London, uh, it's, it's a very, very good, I can imagine that it's a very good exhibition if the, I mean, I, I have met the curator once in Japan. She came to Japan to learn what, I mean, for the study and research. So she, she knows what she's doing. And as she's the creator, I'm very, very sure that the exhibition itself is very beautiful and also educational. I wish I could go there. Uh, it's a little far. But yeah, I would like to see, I would like to, your input, your impression about how the exhibition was would be very much appreciated. Minge is probably next Japanese word that might explain the aesthetic aspect of sashiko which is not which is not yet introduced in english well sashiko introduced in sashiko introduced in english is not wrong or bad it's just missing it's very much um, molded into the western value or something that many non-Japanese people, people in um, English, let's say people who live in the language of English feel comfortable. So it's modified, it's simplified and modified version of that. So by understanding what Minge is, we can start looking at what Sashiko really is. And I'm pretty happy for that. It, it's really scary to see somebody translating that sensitive word but again she did a fantastic job to translate it and if somebody can do that kind of translation it's just a matter of knowing it so i hope that 
um i've i've read that they published a book about this exhibition so as soon as i get that information about that book i will introduce that introduce that as well but that can be a very good reading materials for the better understanding of minge and sashiko as a very very small part of minge sashiko and minge are not equal Sashiko is a very, very, very small part of Minge. And the Sashiko we practice is a very, very, very small part, small part of our Sashiko, I mean, the whole picture of Sashiko. So the big picture is much, much bigger than we think, or even I can describe. It's much bigger than I can ex and describe. So the key is to keep learning that. <laughs> My website, my my platform is still frozen. So I hope that you are. It's moving. <laughs> it's moving on my phone, so it should be fine right now. But at the same time, scary that I cannot see any reactions on the platform. Mm, I don't like it. It wasn't like that. Anyhow, anyway. <clears throat> I wonder how many people are watching this live streaming or like archive of live streaming from Europe. It's not the best time for the Europe people in Europe, like England or other European countries. It is like almost morning it's very early in the morning to watch this live streaming on live so i know that it's not the best time for them uh, so if they are watching it it's going to be probably like archive but it's the best time for me to it's the actually only time i can periodically on the live streaming <clears throat> Yeah, I, I keep saying I'm very, 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 very <laughs> impressed by the three word to describe the Minge, art without heroes. That is very, mm, it, it's beautiful. It's, it explains a lot of Sashiko that I would like to pass down. It can be the art, but the art they appreciate as Minge. They were no. Without a hero means like we feel like there are no heroes per se. Um, but I think in the reality, behind that, without the word without, I would say that everybody was hero. They did not consider themselves as heroes, but there were no specific hero to admire or worship. Everybody was doing what they could uh, with professionalism prof professions professionalism and pride dignity you know they were doing very repetitive things at the same time they were very proud of what they did it is part of the big picture so they did not have any chance opportunities or even desire to put their name on the history of that it, it's art but we can find them so beautiful and we call that minge and we call those art pieces as a part of minge and that is this beauty of sashiko that i would like to explain and somewhat introduce what in translate in english As Sashiko is introduced as the art, the look at me, look at my art, look at my creativity, look at me, look at me, look at me, 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 me is understandable. And that's something I probably am doing. 
at the same time individualism in the art can not always but can sometimes bring the sashiko to the opposite of sashiko's principle and it is okay to do so when the person who is doing that is deliberately doing that or on purpose doing that understanding what he's doing what she's doing and explaining what's going on let's say that i am bringing the sashiko to the opposite of this concept to express my creativity then it's the choice to be the art and i'm perfectly fine with that the culture will be distorted when fail to simplify distorted when they do not realize what the original can be. As a result, um, because of those superficial teachers, books, information, resources, um, they start defining what is the answer based on those filtered, simplified information. And then that's kind of the beginning of the ending of the culture itself. And we are experiencing that right now in Sashiko. Unfortunately, I have to say that we are experiencing the end of Sashiko right now. <clears throat> it's very meaningless to define what Sashiko is. Like, let's say, is this Sashiko? This is not Sashiko. It's not really important to discuss what is Sashiko based on the result. I mean, it has to be stitched somewhat. <laughs> it's, it's stitching practice, so I hope that it's somewhat stitched. But result itself is not the main criteria to define if it is Sashiko or not. Even if the, the result is not so following the principle of Sashiko, if the stitcher acknowledged that they are trying to either break the tradition, follow the tradition, or maneuver tra tradition, then that's one way to appreciate the culture. So it is not about what we create, it's about how we create it. And I really hope that more people in English will come to this live streaming or my web YouTube channel to hear what I can do as the Japanese Sashiko artisan so what I make itself is not really, it's not the primary, it's very, very, very secondary. By understanding the minge, which is the art without a hero, then we can approach the stitching as if, not as if, um, with expecting, with respecting, not expecting, with respecting that some Japanese people made this art without being the heroes. And it is okay to be hero. Like if we're gonna make the art we have we would like to show, we would like to be acknowledged. So it is perfectly fine to be the hero in Sashiko and call it Sashiko. But explaining or even representing that Sashiko with so much insist, so much strong me 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 look at me look at me i'm so great is ruining the subtle beauty of sashiko we developed so that subtleness it is okay to say we 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 no me 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 but those people who say me 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 also need to acknowledge and sort of encourage others to learn more stop misleading then it will be much 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 better place for us to keep stitching together so there are <laughs> in summary there are reasons why and the voice from japanese sashiko artisans who only speak japanese are small and quiet it's not the matter of trying to speak louder or even ability to speak louder it is supposed to be quiet because they practice stitching in the form of art without actual heroes or even voice for that matter. Uh, 
and I just don't want them to take advantage of those subtleness and then start overpainting by their I think they're profit. I would say it's profit. They are doing so to either increase the sales. They are making like a funnel to, you know, send the potential customer to their business, readers, followers, fans, you name it. Um, but it's quite, I find it quite, I don't want to say disgusting, but I find it probably disgusting to see that if they're doing it intentionally. If they're not doing it intentionally, if they just don't know it, that's kind of sad. Um, but if they're doing it intentionally, then that's quite... It's not even like anger. It's more like a very, very, very nasty feeling. And when they say that, you may wonder, is there any such a people like that? Don't they just know? Like, don't you think it's, don't I think that it's just, they don't know it enough? And I would say 95% of the people who are kind of speaking on behalf of Sashiko are those who did not have enough chance, opportunities, or time to learn. But they, those people who mislead uh, newcomers to the sashiko they feel comfortable or they can make profit out of exist they those people exist and i it is not my intention to fight head to head because that's already not the japanese culture um, but it is something that i have to advocate that their sashiko is misleading they're not wrong but they're misleading the new people who does not have time or willingness or access to the Japanese um, culture to somewhere completely different by using the name Sashiko. And I think that's quite nasty. <laughs> I think that's the word for that. Nasty is probably the word for that. And those people block me, so it's quite easy to find out. I have quite many accounts that I can access on the Instagram or the website like people ask me like wow they're saying those things can you can can you check this website what do you think about what they're saying and they send me the link right then like i click and then mm, this account doesn't exist mm. then i reply to them like mm, uh, probably you send me a broken ink broken link so can you check it and the, my friends are like well the link is good then they attach the screenshot with the URL. That's the time I realized, okay, so I probably said something upset them or inconvenient to them. I usually, and I try my best to articulate or pick up one person or target one person, one account to accuse because that's not my intention. It is not my intention to create one by one argument or discussion which is the right sashiko because my conclusion will be always one thing why don't you learn japanese if you're so expert in japanese culture sashiko and i would probably have to say that well you know if you know so much about sashiko and if you can speak on behalf of sashiko let's talk about this in japanese like, why do I have to speak my second language to defend my own culture while they are using the word Sashiko to make profit out of it? So, like, if we gonna go to discussion, it's gonna be just quite... It's gonna make just the gap bigger because they will... <laughs> That's the discussion with already fixed conclusion. And that's not gonna create, that's not gonna solve anything. That's just gonna get nastier and nastier. So my intention is to ask them to acknowledge. First is the acknowledgement. It's okay that they cannot do it. It's, I don't, it's not me who define if it's okay or not. Um, to 
to mislead others or teach <laughs> teach it without being able to do it. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. Um, like, for example, I, s I can probably teach English when I go back to Japan. If I have to go back to Japan right now and find a job immediately, I may apply to be the English teacher. That's probably the easiest way to get secure job like full-time job i may be able to find a job in the like international company which do the you know international sales and stuff like that at the same time well i i can probably apply to be the translator or interpreter like, there are many options to do that at the same time teaching english to the business person is something I can easily imagine based on what I have been doing. So teaching can be done without mastering one thing. I am nowhere close to mastering English. As you can tell, I can speak English, but it's not native level. You can tell that it's... You can tell that I'm not native. I have accent. Uh, my English is probably somewhat broken. So it is okay to teach something to others without being the master or without ex being an expert on that good enough is good enough so i don't have any problem with people teaching sashiko in the level of good enough what i have as the problem is that they define themselves as the answer like it's like me teaching English as if my English is the only English that people speak in the US. That is wrong. <laughs> native American native English speaker, native American English speaker do not speak like I do. I guess. I mean, accent, accent wise or even my daughter does not speak English as like I do. My English is not as good as hers. And she's nine, and she is still realizing that her daddy, her father, has a little bit of language challenge. Not an issue, just challenge. And she knows that he has issues because his first language is not English. <laughs> so that's the difficult, that's, that's the kind of line. That's the line, very much the line between what is okay and what is not okay. And I hope I am making this clear. I have been making this clear last couple of years because that's my conclusion. What is good and what is bad? What is okay? What is like? What is the appropriation? What is not appropriation? And that's, I think that's fair and clear line that we can draw. By the way, along with that topic, I uploaded the Sashiko dialogue with Thai volume four discussing about the upstream of Sashiko. And Tai has been very kind and very mm, careful. I think the word careful is a good one. He has been very careful about how... Mm, he has been very careful about how he can approach Sashiko as his passion, as his interest, as his practice. And I have been explaining the same thing to him, but that's the same message that I share in this live streaming or live streaming. Or no live live streaming or the YouTube channel, but I guess it it may take some time to kind of penetrate. It's very simple, but because it's simple, they we need some fundamental or like a repetition of discussion to get through that. So.
it's 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 really I think that became a pretty good series and volume four is a good dialogue um, to simplify the message in a good way. <laughs> um, I say a lot of things, but he helped me to not summarize, more like simplify is a good way to say that again, but um, it's easier to understand, I guess. I have watched only once after that, so I have to rewatch it to see if my <laughs> message is clear enough again. But if you haven't watched that yet, please take a look. It's 30 minutes to go long, but I think my message are getting clear and clear, more clear and clear. And I think somewhat boundaries or lying would be sort of visualized at this moment. It was kind of vague before, but now it's quite not obvious, but visible. So yeah, that's that, Sashiko is... Unfortunately, I keep probably saying that this year, but unfortunately Sashiko has become something completely different in like English. There's a so big gap between the Sashiko they, the Japanese practice in the history, which I may be practicing right now, it's part of that, but the trend has um very much pushed this word sashiko to walk by itself without any parenting for that matter i guess <laughs> any supervision any guardians i guess so <laughs> it just took off it, it became something else completely and Many people say that it's not, nothing is too late, but it is kind of too late to advocate what really Sashiko is. It will take a lot longer time to reverse this. And I don't know how long it's going to take. It might take a year, a few years, maybe 10 years, decade, I don't know. Um, but it's, it is too late for me to introduce what Sashiko is without causing the conflict or causing little disagreement or even discomfort. There we go. Discomfort is the word for that. When we introduce something completely new, it's, if, when it's, fresh thing is there if there's no pre um understanding of prejudice <laughs> prejudice for that it's easier to learn but right now there are quite many simplifications so five years ago four years ago i used to say that it is okay to take my workshop anytime they want it is always possible to install what I do, like a form rhythm, and that won't the timing of joining my workshop does not really make a big difference. Um, but five years ago, six years ago, there were not that many specific or concrete information on what Sashiko should be. So that that was my impression in the teaching. In 2014, I started realizing that it may be better to learn the form whenever you feel at your earliest convenience. Um, some people question me, like some people come to me with worries that am I going to get the bad habit before your workshop? Uh, there's no such a thing as bad habit. So 
because of that, I kept saying, well, don't worry about it too much. Whenever you feel comfortable, please take my workshop. Uh, you can try something different and then come back to my workshop. And I have, you know, I used to say those things, but after five years, six years, I may now have to change that message saying it is probably better to learn the form first before they learn something um, different uh, muscle memories, different habit. And those different habits is often based on the Western technique, Western mindset, Western philosophy. It's because that's taught by somebody who do not speak Japanese or who do not understand Japanese culture. So what they learn is the Western version of Sashiko, which may be lacking the concept of Japanese Sashiko at all. So they might be focusing on just the patterns, just the simplicity, or just very much result oriented and they probably don't focus on the mindset process how form and then they kind of force what they they teach or they deliver the message that their technique is the technique they use they are used in the sashiko as well and as the result unfortunately that may be the another obstacle to feel comfortable in my workshop and I sometimes I not often but very rarely see those who suffer in my workshop more than necessary because of that so 2024 might be the year to start saying that it might be a good way to start Sashiko journey with us and it's very sad. It's very, very sad. I didn't. I do not want to say that, to be honest, because any other form of sashiko is good. I'm, I'm, as I keep saying, there's no such a thing as bad manners, bad habit in learning sashiko. Not a manner. I'm sorry. Bad habit. But that has kind of like a condition saying that as long as you learn that habit from somebody who know what they're teaching as sashiko then that habit itself is not gonna be a big obstacle <clears throat> but if they are very familiar if they are very very familiar with the sashiko with the western mindset or western technique then it may be mm -hmm. I'm not saying impossible to get it, but it's going to have another obstacle or many other challenging, which may not be necessary if they come earlier to me. <laughs> well, well, well. Um, the fact that I'm teaching this to Japanese is also changing my mind too a little bit. I thought that what I teach is quite average, something that everybody can do. At the same time, because of my family background, I may be unique. I may be a very few of those who receive this wisdom, while many others have lost those in the generations. That's why I have many, many Japanese students as well. They come to me to learn what Sashiko is. And that's how we make those big jackets as well. There are, I am seeing many, many Japanese rising artists. So, a hundred years ago, I probably would say that being Japanese itself will be good enough to be a teacher. In Sashiko because that's what they would do usually like in the ordinary life um, back then pretty much everybody was capable of doing that hundred years ago a few hundred years ago 
But right now, being Japanese itself is not going to qualify the one to be the good sashiko stitcher. It's of course, there's a less hard or less challenges because of the language. More resources too. Um, but therefore, therefore, my goal is to introduce as many Japanese who are not above the surface or on the surface of the trend yet. There are so many who are not acknowledged because of their language skill. So I'm working on it. <laughs> I am working on it. And some people are finding us. Um, so William Smollis is one of William Smollis Gell is one of the thing. Because of our messages they find it as the sort of the voice, right? So they did not choose a sashiko piece done by non Japanese or even Japanese who has few years of experience. They chose a piece made by somebody with decades of experience with as much understanding as possible. Of course the story is important. At the same time that acknowledgement from those big places will encourage others to learn. So I hope that world will changing little by little. At the same time my explanation, my stories will will uh, will resonate some of the people and especially you know, you're here and I really appreciate it. And you are here because what I say can resonate you or what you have, what you're trying to learn, what you want to learn. And I really appreciate it. At the same time, unfortunately, that's not the majority in the trend of Sashiko. They don't want to hear what I say. The majority of the people, um, I don't think not knowing is the case so much because because my numbers are increasing. I I'm, I'm not really in I'm not a big fan of having so many followers, but you know, I am being acknowledged little by little. So I guess they don't want to majority of the people do not want to hear it or listen to that or they don't want to spend that much time in learning it because I don't really give the solution, I don't give the answer. So they have to really, you know, it's it's a long process. <laughs> and if you don't like sashiko, you probably wouldn't be here. If you don't like Japanese culture and sashiko, you this live streaming is pretty much boring and also, you know. If the goal is to just to learn the pattern, then this this live streaming is nothing because I only stitch this and I don't explain anything. So the you are here and as much as I appreciate, like I do really appreciate it, but the, you are the kind of minority side. And the, ma the majority that I need to deliver the message are not here. To be honest, to be honest, I feel much comfortable just doing this in this group. And, you know, you know, I know what I can offer, you know what you can expect what you can hear. So this is a very, very comfortable group and I don't want to get out of this group and then start advocating or start like creating the dispute or discomfort. So a few years ago, if I did not meet Japanese sashiko artisans, this many of those, I may have just kind of give up or found the place to be, like a piece to be. But right now there are I met so many Japanese who are not happy with the trend right now. Uh, I'm not the only one who is not happy with this sashiko trend, which is completely different from what sashiko is in Japan. And I don't want to ignore their voice too because of my preference. And this is another unfortunate thing, but they do not, they will not have the voice in English because learning the another language can take a long time 
and it does not seem like that those people who are serious in learning who claim themselves that they are serious in learning sashiko do not spend enough time to learn japanese so they don't come to japan to ask those people for the help as the result their voice may be lost and somebody has to be the bridge not has to be but i want somebody to be the bridge and as, long, as of now that bridge is me <laughs> That bridge is quite difficult. It has a pretty big qualification. Being able to speak English is of course good, but that's that's just good enough. But that's not really ideal. I want them to be able to stitch as much as they can. So those people who has voice in Japan who stitch do not share their own honest stories unless the person who they're talking to are also sashiko stitchers so this translator cannot be just the guest that's why this journey is so difficult i kind of have to be one of them when in order to do so and that is why what I'm trying to do is quite difficult. It sounds like, not a sounds like, I feel, I sometimes feel that it's almost impossible to do it because what is happening right now is not only happening in Sashiko, it's happening in many, many other cultures, in many other practice. So it is not only about Sashiko and I just can only, I can talk about only Sashiko because that's the capacity I have. So... Well, but it's a very, very good news that um, pretty well-known, famous museum in, I mean, gallery in London found us, contacted us, listened to our story and tried to ex exhibit our pieces. So if you're in London, if you're in England and close to go to London, who probably are not watching this as live right now because it's in the morning, uh, please, if you have a, if you have a chance, please visit the Williams Mollets Gallery. The exhibition is until September, I believe. And title is Minge Art Without Heroes. And they are, I think they published the book. And there should be a lot of explanation what Minge is in the exhibition. And understanding or even feeling what Minge can be a very good help for you to understand what Sashiko can be. Whew. I hope that the ad did not kick in when the worst timing. I I usually control it here and I take a break and then I let the ads go but today I cannot really touch this platform for some reason. So I hope that you didn't have to miss much. Okay, any other things? So, two, I made an announcement in the beginning of this live stream, but two announcements. I will be having a little off, more often in person workshop this toward this summer um, because all got sold out. Uh, one is in Vermont next month, uh, one is in Minneapolis in June, and one another thing is independent, it's planning, it's in Brooklyn. In August and as soon as I get information like detailed information with the registration link I will introduce that on my Instagram website and everywhere but until that um, if you are nearby Vermont which is the Bennington or Minneapolis they may have a waiting list so it's you know you will lose nothing to contact them so you can contact them and I think they, they do have a waiting list for that so those are the plan for the in-person workshop and I probably have a few spots left for the online Sashiko class for the um, March or April. I think. I don't think it's sold out. But yeah, it, it's, it, it's like a lifetime skill. It's only six hours of learning first. 
but I believe that it can be, once they decided to continue, it can be a lifelong technique or wisdom or philosophy to reach, um, to approach Sashiko or live with Sashiko. And I used to say that it doesn't matter when to join, but now because of so many information in uh, so many information about Sashiko in English, which can mislead, I'm sorry to say, but the, which can mislead, like fundamentally, uh, it might be better to take it when you have a chance, like at your early convenience. Well, I'm not gonna go anywhere at this moment. I might, I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere at this moment, but at the same time, the opportunity that I can offer the workshop is not unlimited. It is my intention to focus on the current people who are learning. So I'm not going to just expand it to like inf infinite. So when you have a chance to take it, when you have the opportunity to join it, please try to, I mean, please consider that. And if you have taken already and if you're stitching right now, um, I hope you're enjoying it. If you have any questions, if you don't feel comfortable, um, you, you can reach me out. I will do my best to follow up. If you if you are in the online class, I will follow up for sure. Like online is like one of the advantage of being online class is that I will do everything I can to make you feel comfortable. Okay, uh, I think I made an announcement, and today was a little bit of strong message. <clears throat> I think I am getting to the point of sort of um, I don't want to say angry. But I am learning that anger itself is not a negative feeling. It's more like motivation and it is okay to feel anger. And it does not make sense to cover what I feel to soften to sound nice. So... You may found today's live streaming a little bit too direct, and I, I, I accept, I admit, and I will take any criticism for that as well. But I think it's okay. It's probably it's about time to to be more direct. They are misleading the culture by saying that they know about Sashiko, and there are people who are really unhappy about it. In Japan, as a Japanese Sashiko artisan, and I, I am one of those, and I feel responsible to bridge those two and to deliver those messages too. By the way, the Japan tour in 2024 November is one of the best opportunity for me to introduce everything, <laughs> because um, those Japanese Sashiko artisans will join us. Um, about 20, 30 of those. All together, I don't know if they can all come to the same exhibition or same gathering, but I will pretty much share every like everybody is in Japan and they speak only Japanese, so the best way is to bring non-Japanese to Japan <laughs> and then kind of let them merge into one place so that they can communicate and they they do communicate. Trust me, they do communicate. They did communicate. And that was one of the best time for me in my life. That was life life changing moment for me. Last year, two thousand twenty three spring. Wow, that has been years since. Wow. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um, I hope that you will have a good night Thursday night. I will try to come back next Thursday as well again. And if you are watching this as the archive. Um, your question will be very much appreciated so that I can pick up that question to the next live streaming. Um, yep, and I am updating a lot of website recently, so if you could follow that, that'd be great. Okay, um, thank you so much for coming to the live streaming. I hope you have a good night. Bye-bye. Just a second. Wow, well, I cannot stop it. How do I... Hmm? What if, what if I cannot <laughs> click this platform right now? How can I stop this live streaming? Let me check. <laughs>